Welcome back to the channel, where this episode I am looking at one from the Goose Island Beer Company. I don't do too many Goose Islands here on the channel for some reason, but I did pick up a couple of cans recently. And I did one, uh, I believe it was part of this series, but it was, uh, I guess, a regular IPA or single IPA, where this one here is an Imperial IPA called Tropical Beer Hug. And this one is coming in at 9.9% .9 alcohol by volume. Uh, it doesn't have a whole lot of reading, just our typical stuff on the back, a beach vacation for your taste buds. I do like the whole beer, uh, or sorry, the bear, grizzly bear, purple grizzly bear with the purplish pink sunglasses. Very, very um, eye-catchy uh, colors, I guess, color scheme there on the can. Um, so 9.9% almost 10 percent when i picked these up i think the other one was like six something six percent alcohol uh, i was surprised this was almost 10 percent um that's part of the reason why i actually grabbed both of them uh not because i'm a huge goose island uh you know beer fan because like i said i don't do a whole lot of them uh, nothing against them i know they're owned by anheuser bush which i don't really care about that um I just don't pick up a lot of their stuff for some reason, but this here, a uh, beer hug series, um, I thought found it interesting. Uh, I did go to Untapped and sorry, not Untapped, Beer Advocate, and kind of looked up uh, what uh, the scoring on this and stuff like that, because it does say tropical. So I was anticipating this being like a tropical bomb or something like that. Uh, but some of the reviews there were actually referencing a lot of um, citrus. Uh, notes aromas and um you know taste in general and i thought this would be strictly tropical but i'll find out for myself here in a couple minutes so i'm going to crack this open what i'd like you to do is hit that notification bell down there and stay current if you would do that and if you're not a subscriber i would appreciate it if you would subscribe to the channel and drop a comment after the video is done throughout the video uh give the video a like if you would now that wasn't that wasn't real smart, was it? But I wanted to get that little there you go out of the way there. So we get a pour on this thing and uh, see what it's all about here. Well, I already get some nice um, nice tropical uh, tropical notes floating around right in here. Very clear, much more clear than I was anticipating this being. Wow. All right, so got a little bit of a splatter. I got some beer on my glass. There's just a few little spots there. I don't know if you can see it on cam or anything like that, but I'm gonna I'm gonna roll with it. So I get a very very nice tropical mangoey to a pineapple aroma, and I don't and I'm not even you know taking anything out of the glass yet. So let's just get a look at it. Super clear, kind of hazy up here, but very very clear here at the bottom. I was not expecting it to be this clear uh recently rinsed and dried glass so i do have there are some actual decent carbonation uh releasing here uh about a three about a three finger just over a three finger uh white head up on top of this uh there is a nice uh frothiness to it now there are some larger bubbles in the middle there along the edge of the glass but for the most part it's got a fairly nice creamy head to it now let's see what we can get. Yeah, this is this is just sweet tropicalness. Tons of mango, like a mango-y pineapple, pineapple mango drink, pineapple mango juice. does smell uh, like it could be a little hop forward, what I actually expect it to be. I don't get uh, a pininess or now. I was thinking I might, this might lean towards uh, tropical pininess, you know, a little bit of pininess, tropical fruit uh, aromas in there, but I don't get any of that. Sweet tropical goodness is all this is. So I'm gonna get a drink on it. Definitely hop forward. So, 
as light as this looks, it looks super light, like it's gonna be just a really thin bodied bear. And it's probably medium bodied actually. Um, there's that ABV. I can actually pick up a little bit of that, that um, ABV there. Just on the aftertaste, get a little bit of that alcohol aftertaste. Damn. This is actually, it's actually pretty good. Um, it's very thin um, for an Imperial IPA. It's, it's on the thinner side, definitely. Um, but it does really have a good alcohol finish to it. And it's not one that really lingers around. It's just after the swallow, you can tell there's it's a higher ABV. Uh, a little bit more of a pininess that I did not detect in the nose at all. But there is just a hint of a, of a, a hoppy pininess right up front, followed by just some mild, sweet, tropical flavors. I don't know, mango, pineapple, whatever you wanna say. What's weird? There's something else in there that I'm picking up. I don't know, like, I don't want to say banana, but it's very much like, like a clove, I guess, in there, like a little bit of a, in the background, just a little bit of a, like a clove or something I pick up on this. Actually, pretty good. Um, mix it up here a little bit more. Yeah, looks pretty good. Decent lacing taking place. You know, I'm sitting here uh, drinking away at this, and for ten percent, man, it really drinks pretty easy for ten percent. Um, I mean, I definitely know what's there. I can just taste hints of it, but God, the thinner body to this for an Imperial really goes down quick, really goes down easy. Yeah, scoring this, not the greatest thing, but it's actually much, much better than I was anticipating. Like this is way better than I was anticipating it being. Uh, for that reason, Excuse me, I'm going to give about 3.95 out of 5. A um, little bit more of a tropicalness to it, whether it be mango, whether it be pineapple, whether it be papaya, whatever. A little bit more of of a tropical presence. Yeah, and this would be this would be actually pretty damn good. Um, but 3.95, what did I say, 3.9? 3.9? Yeah, 3.9 out of 5. Um, that's pretty solid. Uh, you had this before, you had any other in this series, uh, drop a comment, let me know what you think about them. Thanks for watching.